Hello guys, welcome to Red Experts. My name is Adanshu Kapoor. In this session, we talk, we discuss about how to create database in SQL Server 2019. So let's start the things, guys. So this is my virtual, uh, this is my machine. Okay, SQL Server 2019 uh, machine. So over there, I can already install SQL Server 2019. Okay, so we'll need to install uh, SQL database. So as you already know that SQL is not a database; it's a database engine. Okay, through which we can manage multiple databases. Okay, so once once I install SQL, uh, SQL one instance is automatically created, which we already see, which which we already uh, uh, saw in the previous videos. Okay, now we can create the first database in the SQL Server. So we have various view, various um, options to create the database. Either you can uh, go for the CMD command prompt, either you can use PowerShell, or uh, you can use a Management Studio uh, as well to create the database. Okay, now before I start start creating the database, I'll showing you the path where your SQL SQL databases are are located. If you go to C drive, and in C drive you go to uh, program files. Once you click on program files over there, in that we have the option Microsoft SQL Server. Open this folder. Over there you can see that the instance name is this. My instance name is SQL Server 2019. So it shows me MS SQL 15. dot SQL Server 2019. Okay, let's open this instance. And then you can see the folder MS SQL. Open it, and then we have the uh, folder named Data. Once you click on Data, you have seen that the, the database is there. So uh, there is the master database is there, model database is there. Okay, these are the by default database which is automatically created. These are the four databases which is automatically created: master, model, MSDB, and tempdb. These are the four databases which is automatically created, and this is the database which I created previously. Okay, so this is also a database. Database dot uh, database one name database one there. So database has two files. One is the MDF file m dot MDF. This file is extension is m MDF. If I showing you, I right click on that and go to properties. So over there you can see that the file name is the file extension is MDF. This is the major. This is the main database file where you can save everything. Okay, and one file is known as DLF. This is the database one dot log dot DLF file. Okay, this file is a log file, as you can see that. So whatever you can, whatever you can uh, uh, did in the database, you can create the uh, table, you can delete the table, you can modify the table, you can add the records in the table. So whatever you can, uh, you can do in the database, it records everything. This file, log file. So every database has two files. One is MD, MDF, MD, MDF file. MDF file is a main file. Okay, where we can, it contain all the things. And one is the log file. Log file is the extension is dot LDF. Okay, it 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 man, man, uh, maintains your transactions. Now, okay, now let's create the database. So uh, we I'll showing you uh, with the PowerShell. So we'll go for PowerShell first. Okay, uh, I open PowerShell, my Windows PowerShell. Okay, we can we can use these command which I which I run the command in the PowerShell. We can use these these command in the in the command prompt also. Okay, so we have a command. Uh, we have a, a SQL CMD tool also with the help of SQL SQL CMD tool. We can able to access the Uh, uh, create the database also and access the SQL Server also. So, uh, so the tool name is SQL Server Command Line Tool. So, if I need to access my Command Line Tool from from PowerShell, so I need to run the command is SQL CMD. This is the command. Okay. If I click on hyphen and then question mark, so it gives me all the switches. As you can see that it gives me all the switches. If I want to access the server, the the we can use hyphen s switch. If I if I if I use um uh, access uh if I need to if you can access the username. With the, with the particular user name, I want to access the server. Like we have a uh, SA user, uh, server authentication, authenticate user, SQL authenticate user account. So with that, I am able to access with my SQL server. So we can use hyphen u and then give the password over the hyphen for, for hyphen p. We can use in the passwords. Okay. So I'll showing you how we can go for that. Let's uh, start with the things. Now first I. Okay, let's go for that. We go first SQL uh, CMD. Okay, if I need to access my servers, I go for hy uh, hyphen capital S. Okay, guys, my uh, remember always that we can use capital S capital. Uh, so switch is always using capital. Okay, if you're using the small s, is this shows you error? Okay, once you run the command, so we need to give the capital S. Okay, and now I need to uh, give my uh, my computer name. So my computer name is this, and then we need to give the instance name. My instance name is SQL Server 2019. Okay, and then once once you hit on enter, so you can see that right now I am in uh, SQL Server. Uh, I mean SQL. I mean in SQL Server right now. Now I need to run that uh, run the command. Okay, so uh, right now I want to see the databases. Imagine, so I go for sp underscore databases. Okay, then enter, and then we need to write the write the write the first command. And then I need to execute the first command. So go for go, right? Go. 
and you can see that this shows me all the databases which we see, which we see in the c drive you can see the database one master model msdb and tempdb these are the four databases which is automatically created and i created a previously database one over there okay this is the way how we can see the database with the help of command prompt now if i if i need to uh, create the database okay so once i go for exit okay now again i am go back to this now i log in with my I, I by default right now I'm logging with my uh, with my uh, Windows account, the admin account, which is which is which I created in the in the Windows 10 installation time. Okay, I I I am logging with the admin account in that case. Okay, now if I if I if if I want that I want to log in with the SA account, so how we can go for that? I just use hyphen U, and then you can go for SA. SA is a SQL authentication account, and then you can go for hyphen. Then you can use the password switch and give the password. Like this is my password, and hit on enter after that. You can say that. I'm in the, I'm logging with the SA account now. Now I'm going to create the database. Okay. It doesn't matter that you can, you can create the database with the SA account. You can create the database with the admin account too. Okay. But I'm showing you how we can log in with other user accounts. So now we can go for create, create database, and then we can define the database name. So I go for uh, like DB one, my database name is database one or DB one. We can go for that. Okay. Now. Enter it now. I need to run this command. I need to write over there go. The second command, second, uh, second, uh, in second line, I need to write go. Okay, to run the first line or to run the first line command. Enter it. So it's going to create the database as you can see that. Now it's created as you can see that. Okay, now we can check. So the command is sp underscore databases. Okay, and enter it. And then write down go. As you can see that. My database is created DB1, okay, which I created right now, just now, okay. If you if you want to exit the uh, this command line tool, SQL SQL command line tool, so go for click on exit simple. That's it. You are in PowerShell right now, okay. Now you can see that we check once whether the whether the uh, database is created or not. So if I go again in my uh, C drive, and if I go to uh, pro program files, and I go to MS SQL Server. And that we have the instance name SQL Server 2019. Double click on that. Sorry. Double click on that, and that we have a folder MS SQL, and then we have a data, and you can see that we have a database DB1 is is also created. So we have two databases right now. Database one named, and we have one DB1. Okay. So this is the way how we can create the database with the help of PowerShell. We can use these same commands in in command prompt also. So if 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 I'm showing you, if I go to uh, CMD, if I open uh, CMD, and if I try to run these commands, so you can see that SQL SQL CMD hyphen S, sorry hyphen S, and then I need to define my computer name, and then we can go for SQL. My instance name is SQL Server 2019, and hit on enter. So you can see that. Sorry, SQL. The command is SQL. SQQ. It's SQL CMD. That's it. And hit on enter. So you can say that I write now. I'm in there. If I could write down the command SP underscore databases, that shows me all the databases. Go for go. Enter it. So this shows me all the databases. If I need to create the databases over there, so how we can go for that same command? Create database and then this DB two. Okay. Enter it and then go. That's it. Now I can see that database is created. I'll go for CP underscore databases to check the database whether it's created or not. Enter it and then go. So you can say that my DB2 is created as you can see that. So we can check with the, if you want to exit at this command line tool, click simple, click on exit. Okay, you are back in the command prompt. And now you can see that in the C drive, C drive in program files in Microsoft SQL Server folder, Microsoft SQL instance folder, SQL, and then we can go for data. So you go over there, you can see that database two is also created. DB2, DB1, and database is one, database one. So these three databases which we already created over there. Okay, so like this, how we can create database through command prompt or through PowerShell, both in both the ways, in both the tools, the commands are same. So that's it for this session, guys. I hope you're able to understand this, uh, this, uh, this, video, this video, this session. If you, uh, please like and share this, session with your friends. Please subscribe to the channel for more technical videos. Thank you very much guys for watching.